direct current generator. For generator, the very first thing that you need to know is there are two types of generator, the direct current generator and the alternating current generator. Okay, And you need to tell or, or you need to know uh, which one is the direct current generator and uh, which one is the alternating current generator because they are quite, they look similar actually, they look similar. So let me show you, okay. So you see this is a direct current generator. Okay, this is alternating current generator. They look similar, right? So can you tell me what's the difference? What's the difference between a direct current generator and an alternating current generator from the structure? From the structure. So this is a alternating current, alternating current generator. This is direct current generator. Direct current generator. So what's the difference? Can you see the difference? Uh, number of carbon brush. Okay, Cindy say the slip rings. Okay. Yes, it is it's the slip rings. Uh, the difference is the slip rings and the commutator. For direct current generator, the carbon brush is connected to the commutator. Commutator. Commutator is a split ring. There's a ring, but it's a splitted. It's a split, link, a split ring commutator. We call this split ring. Split ring commutator. This is supposed to be a ring, but it's splitted. So it's a split ring commutator. But uh, for alternating current gener generator, there's no split ring commutator. Sorry, there's no split ring commutator, but instead they have two slip rings. Two slip rings. Two rings, huh? two rings, two slip rings. So that's the difference between an, uh, an alternating current generator and a direct current generator. And then for a uh, direct current generator, you need to know how it functions, huh? okay? So there is a coil here. When this coil rotate, we must have something to rotate the coil. It's either the humans to make it rotate, or uh, you can use uh, petrol. You can use a petrol and use a motor to make it rotate. Or you can use uh, this, uh, the flows of water to mo make it rotate, okay? So we, we, we must have something to rotate the coil. When the coil is rotated, it will cut the magnetic flux uh, of the magnetic field, right? Okay, because it's inside a magnetic field, eh? north, south, it's inside magnetic field. So when you rotate, it will cut the magnetic flux. And when it cut the magnetic flux, current will be produced. Eh? Current will be produced. Then you need to know the functions of the commutator. Yeah? The functions of the commutator. The commutator makes sure the current flow in one direction in the external circuit. Internal circuit is this one. Eh? Okay, Inside here is the coil is internal circuit. And uh, this is the commutator now. And then this is the external circuit. This is the external circuit. The, the functions of the commutator is to make sure that the current always always flow in a, a one direction or flow in the same direction in the ex external circuit. That is the functions of the commutator. So that's another thing that you need to know, uh, functions of the commutator. And then you need to know the factors affecting the magnitude of the induced EMF. How to make the current higher or how to make the EMF higher. Uh, for example, we can use a stronger magnet, the strength of the magnetic field. Eh? We use a stronger magnet. And then we can increase the number of turns of the coil. Okay, now here just one turn. Eh? Uh, actually, you can have uh, many, many turns. Okay, you can have uh, one turn, eh? two turns, three, okay. uh, four, five, and a lot. Okay, you can, you can even go to a few hundred turns. Eh? Okay, so increase the number of turns of the coil. Presence of iron core. Okay, you can put an iron, I, an iron core in the middles. Put an iron core in the middles. Uh, actually, putting iron core in the middles can increase the magnetic field, eh? the strength of the magnetic field. So you put an iron core in the middles, then uh, you can increase the uh, magnitude of the induced EMF. Eh? Of course, the speed of the rotation can also affect. Okay? If you rotate faster, then uh, higher EMF is, is produced. Eh? And the last one is the area of the coil. Area of the coil. Okay? How big the coil is. Okay? This is the areas of the coil. Mm, the bigger the areas of the coil and uh, the the higher the EMF produced. Eh? Uh, so that's what you need to know. Eh? That's what you need to know. Now let's see here. 
the current okay you can see that the current increase and then decrease increase decrease uh, but at the same side oh uh uh the the sorry this is the voltage eh? voltage and current produce is uh, more or less the same actually so the voltage produced uh, you can see from zero go to the maximum and then go down again zero go to maximum and go down again okay but uh it's always in the same directions uh, okay because always positive eh? If you go to negative means that it's uh, it moved to the opposite directions okay but uh, for direct current you always move in one directions now you need to know uh, when uh, the current will be maximum and when the current will be minimum uh, by referring to the positions of the coil positions of the coil now if the position if the coil is uh, vertical now this is talking about the magnetic field which is horizontal eh? horizontal magnetic field Okay, magnetic field is from north to south horizontally. If the magnetic field is horizontal, then uh, if the coil, this is a coil, I try to imagine that uh, this is a wire. Okay. There's a coil okay. and there's a lot of wire. There's a lot of wire in a coil. Okay. So all this line, okay, this, uh, this, is, uh, this brown line here actually is the, is the wire. Now when the coil is vertical, vertical means that uh, something like this okay it's something uh it's something like this it's vertical when it's vertical uh, the emf or the voltage produced is zero when it's vertical it's zero and when the coil is horizontal horizontal means it's like this this uh, this is horizontal okay it's horizontal and when the coil is horizontal then uh, the emf produced is the maximum when it's vertical again, it becomes zero, and horizontal become maximum, and vertical again becomes zero. Uh, the current flow in one direction, uh, but the magnetic, uh, sorry, the magnitudes of the voltage or magnitude of the currents uh, keep on changing, uh. increase, decrease, increase, decrease. Uh. So current is maximum when the coils cut the magnetic flux at right angle. This one, uh, it cut the magnetic flux at right angles. Current is minimum when the movement of the coils are parallel to the magnetic flux. Okay, parallel to the magnetic flux, uh, it becomes zero. Now, some students, uh, they may ask, uh, why? Why when it's vertical, then it's zero? And why when it's horizontal, then it's maximum? Why, okay? And why it keep on changing, right? Now, let me explain. Let me explain to you why, okay? So, let's say this is the uh, magnetic flux, okay? So, this is the... Uh, this is a magnet. It's a magnet, huh? North, and then this is south, and then uh, that is magnetic flux. Let's say we have a coil. We have a coil, and the coil is like this initially coil is like this if the coil move if the coil move it move let's say it move from this point to this point it moved from this point to this point let's say this distance is 2 cm this distance is 2 cm you can see that when it move this 2 cm distance it cut four field lines right it cut four field lines then let's compare this to the motions if it move from let's say from here to here it's also 2 cm from here to here it's also 2 cm uh, let me redraw it again okay. let's say you move from here to here now then you will find that if we move from here to here even though uh, the distance moving is the same uh, from here to here or from here to here the distance moving is the same uh, but if you move from here to here you will cut four lines right but if you move from here to here, maybe you just cut two or three lines only. Then how about the motions from here to here? So the same distance, okay? So uh, from here to here, if you move from here to here, okay, you can only cut one line. And at, at this point, if at this point actually it cut no lines uh, because it's parallel to the field. From here, then so we know that uh, when the when this uh, coil is horizontal, it will cut um, more magnetic field lines when it's horizontal it will it may move from here to here okay it will cut more field lines compared to the motion from here to here so therefore uh, when the line is uh, horizontals it just move a, move a little bit uh, 
just move a little bit then it can cut a lot of fill lines then the uh, the current is maximum and the voltage is maximum but if it's vertical is if it's verticals it move okay it move from left to right okay so even though it move a very long distance but it only cut a little small amount of fill lines and therefore uh, the EMF produced or the current produced is, is very is very low so let's go back to the slide okay so therefore vertical eh, you move a lot but then you can only get small amounts of uh, current current eh, because it just cuts small amounts of uh, this is a magnetic flux eh? but when it's, you are uh, horizontal you just move a little you can cut a lot of field lines and it produce uh, more currents eh? or the highest currents so that's explanations eh? that's explanations so here zero okay when it's horizontal maximum vertical zero again horizontal maximum again vertical zero again eh? that is about the current